O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 8 Take care to keep all the orders I give you today, so you may have life and be increased, and go in and take as a heritage the land which the Lord, by his oath to your fathers, undertook to give you. Keep in mind the way by which the Lord your God has taken you through the wasteland these forty years, so that he might make low your pride and put you to the test, to see what was in your heart and if you would keep his orders or not. He made low your pride and let you be without food, giving you manna for your food, a thing new to you which your fathers never saw, so that he might make it clear to you that bread is not man's only need, 
but his life is in every word which comes from the mouth of the Lord. Through all these forty years, your feet did not get tired, nor did your clothing get old. Keep in mind this thought, that as a son is trained by his father, so you have been trained by the Lord your God. So keep the orders of the Lord your God, fearing him and walking in his ways. For the Lord your God guides you into a good land, a land of water springs, of fountains and deep streams, flowing out from the valleys and the hills, a land of grain, vines, fig trees and fair fruits, a land of oil-giving olive trees and honey, where there will be bread for you in full measure, and you will be in need of nothing. A land where the very stones are iron, and from whose hills you may get copper. You will have food enough and be full, praising the Lord your God for the good land he has given to you. Take care that you are not turned away from the Lord your God, and from keeping his orders and decisions, the laws which I gave you this day, when you have taken food and are full, and have made fair houses for yourselves and are living in them, when your herds and your flocks are increased, your stores of silver and gold, and you have wealth of every sort. Take care that your hearts are not lifted up in pride, giving no thoughts to the Lord your God who took you out of the land of Egypt, out of the prison house, who is your guide through that great and cruel waste, where there were poisonous snakes, scorpions, and a dry land without water, who made water come from the hard rock for you, who gave you manna for your food in the wasteland, a food your fathers had never seen, so your pride would be broken and your hearts tested for your good in the end. Say not then in your hearts, my power and the strength of my hands have gained me this wealth. But keep in mind the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, so that he may give effect to the agreement which he made by his oath with your fathers as at this day. It is certain that if at any time you are turned away from the Lord your God, going after other gods to be their servants, and to give them worship, destruction will overtake you. Like the nations which the Lord is cutting off before you, so you too will be cut off, because you would not listen to the voice of the Lord your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 14. They led Jesus away to the high priest. All the chief priests, the elders and the scribes came together with him. Peter had followed him from a distance until he came into the court of the high priest. And he was sitting with the officers, warming himself in the light of the fire. Then the chief priests and the whole council sought witnesses against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree with each other. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, 
we heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another without hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest stood up in the middle and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it which these testify against you? But he stayed quiet and answering nothing. And again the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? <clears throat> Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming with the clothes of the scum. At this the high priest tore his clothes and said, What further need do we have of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him to be worthy of death. Some began to spit on him and to cover his face and beat him with fists and tell him, Prophesy! But the officers struck him with the palms of their hands. As Peter was in the courtyard below, one of the maids of the high priest came and, seeing Peter warming himself, looked at him and said, You are also with the Nazarene, Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what it is that you say. He went out on the porch and the rooster groaned. The maid saw him and began again to tell those who stood by, This is one of them. But again he denied it. And after a little while again, those who stood by said to Peter, You truly are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech shows it. But he began to curse and to swear, I do not know the man of whom you speak. And the rooster crowed a second time. Peter remembered the word, how that Jesus had said to him, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And when he thought about that, he wept. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always that which is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour, Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, 
to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.